I'm David Trungale, and we are looking at the swing of John Daly Jr. Film credit goes to the PGA Tour champions, and immediately you will notice that this young man can obliterate a golf ball. Some serious, serious club head speed. So let's take a closer look and see what's going on. All right, so here we are from the down the line view. I know the camera angle is not perfect. It's aimed out towards the heels a bit, but the camera does not move around so we can still see some neat stuff. Now, this was maybe from a year or two ago when John was 16 or, or 17 years old, and now he's off to uh, the University of Arkansas. So check this out. Awesome looking takeaway. Hands and the club head are going to trace that plane and that's pretty flawless to me. So very different than his old man. We're seeing a lot more conventional aspects in the swing, the right hip getting deeper. And in the P2 to P3 region, you can see he's really doing a great job of making a steep shoulder turn and creating tilt. So if anything, the shaft here is marginally vertical of the plane, which I like. And the head's going lower, right? At the top, this is a little bit reminiscent of his dad, the right elbow. You might call it a flying right elbow. It's a little bit behind him. And the club face, if anything, is on the open side, which I'm a fan of. I'm a little bit biased because I struggle at times with my club face getting closed. Now, Watch this transition, how cool this is. So with that right elbow behind him, he's just going to squeeze the hell out of this thing. And the club head kicks that way. It's a classic move you see with a lot of modern players. And you can just tell there's an insane amount of lag here. We'll get to the other view in a moment. And as he's doing that, so the head initially, we can see the brim of his cap at tip forward, backs up just a little bit, but the main thing is it's not backing up too much and his head will continue to go down. So the shaft's on the right forearm. Hips are opening up very nicely, so at the time of striking the ball, his hips are still back on that line. Really cool. And his head is still descending, so again, definitely has some flexibility there. Awesome. Let's take a look from the other view. All right, so here we are from the face-on view. Let me back this up a little bit. I know the camera is low, but that's all right. So uh, this is interesting. In the takeaway, there is weight going right, which is standard. However, not as much as we think, because as he progresses to around P3, he is not bracing into that red line. So I would say the distribution of weight, it's on the inside of the right foot, which is good, but there's a little bit more weight going into that left knee than what you might teach, let's say a tour pro. Again, not trying to uh, be negative here, just making an observation. So at the top, one hip, his left hip, is higher than the other hip. So it's creating this effect where he's just marginally leaning off the ball. And the point I'm making here is that a lot of times people will say, oh, you need to get more weight left to fix that. That's not true. But again, I'm not trying to uh, criticize the kid because he could absolutely maul me on the golf course. And what he does here is simply insane. Check this out. How awesome is this? I have never seen this much lag. This is more lag than Ben Hogan. This is more lag than Sergio Garcia. I mean, I'm just shocked that more people haven't pointed this out and it's not trending on the internet. Watch this. I mean, this is just crazy. 
so much external rotation in the right shoulder, the right elbow is digging in. Amazing flexibility. I mean, don't we all wish we could do this? I mean, this is, I, again, I know the camera angle might be amplifying this a bit, but this is like 180 degrees of wrist hinge. <laughs> so what he'll do, this is brilliant. He's going to keep the head back and down because if his head was in this box or forward at all, with that much lag, the issue would be delivering a descending strike with a driver that might compromise loft. So he's figured this out and it's just superb. And if we go back just to show you the order of operations, this is really awesome. So take note of the club head and the lower body will trigger the sequence. It's going to start with the weight shifting farther left and those hips opening as the club continues to go back. There it is. Boom. I'm speechless. That is really, really neat. And uh, that's John Daly Jr. John Daly II. I'm a fan of both him and his dad. They're a great team. And... Uh, Appreciate you guys watching. Check out tradertours.com slash golf if you're in the market for a lesson. Thank you so much.